Hey there, CFA candidates! Ready to dive into two of the most crucial concepts for CFA Level 2? Today, we're breaking down free cash flow to the firm, or FCFF, and free cash flow to equity, or FCFE. First up, FCFF. Imagine you're looking at a company's cash flows, but you want to see them from a total firm perspective. That's where FCFF comes in. It's the cash flow available to all the company's capital providers, both debt and equity. In other words, it's the money the entire firm generates before considering any debt payments. To calculate FCF, you start with the net income. Add back non-cash charges like depreciation and amortization. Then, adjust for changes in working capital and capital expenditures. Finally, add back interest expenses after tax. So the formula looks like this. FCFF equals net income plus non-cash charges plus interest expenses times 1 minus tax rate minus changes in working capital minus capital expenditures. Simple, right? Now, let's switch gears to FCFE. This is the cash flow available to equity shareholders after all expenses, reinvestments, and debt repayments. Think of it as the leftover cash that can be paid out as dividends or reinvested into the company. The formula for FCFE starts with FCFF. Then you subtract interest expenses after tax and add net borrowing. So FCFE equals FCFF minus interest expenses times 1 minus tax rate plus net borrowing. Easy peasy. So why are these concepts important for CFA Level 2? Well, understanding FCFF and FCFE helps you value a company. Whether you're using the discounted cash flow method or another valuation model, knowing these cash flows gives you a clearer picture of a company's financial health. FCFF is especially useful when you're evaluating a firm from a holistic perspective, considering both equity and debt holders. On the other hand, FCFE is your go-to if you're focused on the equity side and want to see what's available for shareholders. In summary, FCFF gives you the cash flow from a firm-wide perspective, while FCFE zooms in on cash flow available to equity shareholders. Mastering these will not only help you ace the CFA Level 2 exam, but also make you a pro at financial analysis. Alright, that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more CFA tips and tricks. Keep grinding and good luck with your studies. See you next time.